Tsaka bawal magsinungaling. Magkano ang sweldo mo? Tsaka to. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Mr. Sid Lucero, and we call him Timmy. What if I was a smarter person? Uh, as a reporter naman ako ngayon, lahat na pinasok ko talaga. Live selling na ang kasunod. What if hindi ako ampun? Uy! Oh. Bakit kaya ganun ang mga bida, no? Pag nagtitaping, umpisa pa lang ng araw, umiiyak na kayo hanggang sa umuwi tayong lahat. So dahil in-interview mo ko kanina, Miss Aubrey, ikaw mm. namang i-interviewin ko. May isang, may isang tanong lang ako para sa'yo. Tsaka bawal magsinungaling. Magkano ang sweldo mo? Charot lang. <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> Ito lang yung tanong ko sa'yo. Ano ang what if mo? Oh my gosh, what if? Okay, reporter ako ngayon, di ba? Nung bagets-bagets ako, I wanted to be a theater actress. Oo, oh. oh, oh, nagpeta ako, ganyan. Nagdi-direct ako ng mga um, stage play sa school. I was a director and I was an actress. So, sabi ko sa nanay ko, gusto kong maging stage actress. Pero sabi niya, eh, wala namang pera dyan. So, sabi ko, edi, sige, ginive up ko siya. Pero, during college days, tinuloy ko yon. So, if given the chance, parang kung papayagan lang ako, hello po, Sir Oli. <laughs> Nang hinamagat. Sige kung papayagan, yun yes, mo, that's my what kung... if. Dapat, mag, gusto kong mag-exam sa UP. Kasi gusto kong mag, ano, mag-teatro. Sino favorite theater actress mo? Andito si Miss Isay kanina. Oo. Uh, uh, ako, Eugene Domingo. Ah, si Eugene Domingo. So, oh, ang ginagawa mo, hindi mga theater. musicals dati, mga straight plays. No, no, no. Stage mga plays mga talaga. Oh. Yun. Kaya ngayon, kahit paiyakin mo ako, saan? Ah, hindi, sige. Uh, hindi, sa left eye, ah. Ah! <laughs> Nadyak lang. Tsaka palayo ka lang palayo. Pero nahiya siyang siya yun i-interview. Parang hindi siya sanay. Hindi ako sanay. Hindi ako sanay. Hindi ako sanay. <laughs> so, yun yung what if ko. Sana kong mabibigyan ako ng chance ulit. Gusto kong mag-teatro. Gusto kong umarte. Oh, Pero hindi oh. telebisyon na. Hindi telebisyon. Hindi, ako, hindi ko kaya maging oh, Bea theater. Alonzo. Teatro. Hindi ko rin naman maging, kaya maging totoong <laughs> theater actress. Huwag ka mag -alala. Galing mo sa Contra Mundo. Mundo. O, oh, diba? May pakanta. Ang galing ng what if talaga dito mo makikita. Alam mo, dito natin malalaman yung mga hindi natin alam tungkol sa maraming tao. So, thank you so much for that. Yun lang yung talong ko. Ayun, at ako okay, 50, what is the square root of 1,820? Ah, ah, Siyempre, may hina tayo sa mga. <laughs> so, so, yung next nating tatanungin, yung boss namin sa view, si Miss Garlic Garcia. Hi, Miss Garlic! Wow! So welcome oh to my vlog. Oh my God, what an honor. I'm finally yes. part of Bayes I just have one question for you. Okay. Like I ask everybody, ano ang what if mo? What if? That's a big question. Siguro one of my what ifs in life, I've always thought, what if I actually channeled my talents into being a legit professional actress, singer, and dancer. Because I've clearly created a career behind the camera. Mm -hmm. But what if I actually created a career in front of the camera? Mm -hmm. And I knew when I entered the business 25 years ago, it wasn't ready for someone that looked like me. Yeah. So I channeled that talent into helping others shine even better. So. Oh. So I'm happy to be me before, 20 years ago, and now. And my what if is, what if I became you, Bea? Ah! <laughs> but you're beautiful. I you. Let me say that. You know, we've known each other since I was, what, a teenager? Yes. Ano siya, writer namin siya sa ASA for how long? I was a writer for a year, but I was head writer for 15 years of ASAP and a showrunner for ASAP, yes. And then we worked together. Nag-artista din po siya for a time. We worked together for She's the One. Yeah, she was the leading lady and I was the Barkada. Best friend. Best yeah. friend. And I think 
I'd like to think it's a role I play well in real life and in yes, real life. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Pero wala na masyadong pagkakaiba sa yes. totoong buhay. I guess that's why I love working with Bea because the person that you see on camera, yung pagkatao niya is even better. Oh. Like off camera, doon ko nakita for the first time nung nasa tent kami na it was by a little hill <laughs> and it started raining and putikan yung loob ng tent. She adopted like four of us inside her room. Siyempre naman. Ano mabayaan ko kayo doon? <laughs> Grabe. Tsaka um, totoo, gusto ko rin din talaga ng katsikahan ng time na yun. <laughs> But in truth, not, not every artist would do that. Oh. So that's what makes Bea special. And when I think of Bea, that kindness is something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Oh. Pag naisip kita, yun talaga naisip ko, Bea. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for the answer and some pag-aangat ng bangko ko sa vlog ko. Pero, of course. Thank you. Anyway, mag-promote ka na ng love before sa so. <laughs> And of course, today, we are proud to share this together. Bea and I have shared many things together from yes. ASAP. She's the one. And now, we have love before sa so. Sunrise. We're very proud of this title. It's our second partnership title with GM, yes, between GMA and VIEW. No one better than Miss Bea Alonzo to headline this title. We've always wanted to work with her and to invest in a title that she could deliver her best to. And Dennis Trillo also. And of course, matched with no less than the Dennis Trillo, an actor's actor. And putting the two of them together, you get something so... It's explosive in a different way. It's... E It's engaging, it's captivating, it's something so riveting because it's so real. Yung pagiging, pagiging totoo nila ang mm. shine. Real talk lang. It feels real. They created characters that also feel real. Kaya maraming makakarelate. Kaya panoorin nyo po ang Love Before Sunrise yeah. on GMA and VIEW. You. Hi guys, so I am with the award-winning actor himself, Miss Sid Lucero. Miss Mister Mister Tanga Tanga Pa. Mister Sid Lucero, and we call him Timmy. Hi Timmy. Hello. I just have one question What's for up? you. What is the capital of Charot? Na. Isa lang yung question ka for you. Ano ang what if mo? Wow. What if I made smarter decisions in my life? Do you wanna expound on that, maybe? <laughs> okay, so I guess one of my greatest fears is for my child to grow up with having all the same bad habits that I do. Especially in decision making, uh, discipline, all stuff, all things like that. That's my worst nightmare. And I know that she might get it because it's coming from me. Mm -hmm. So when you ask me what if, like, yeah, that's true. What if I was a smarter person? No, but we become the person that we are because of our mistakes and how we deal with those mistakes and, you know. That's true. That's super true. And that's why I guess I'm so proud of where I am now. But I want to save her the hassle. Oh, <laughs> ganda naman yun. Thank you for your honesty. Lahat ng tao bigla na iiba yung ano, no? Thank you so much. Hi, Ada. Uh, as a reporter naman ako ngayon, lahat na pinasok ko talaga. Live selling na ang kasunod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, may isa lang akong tanong sa'yo. You look so beautiful today, Uy, by the way. Rin, I have one question for you. Ano ang what if mo? Oh my gosh, ano nga ba? Hindi uh, kasi una ko naisip sa what if ano eh. Hindi yung, yung past, more of future. What if? Oh, oh what if? Pero ang what if kasi... Sa, ano kaya mangyayari sa akin? Saan kaya ako pupunta? Ah, okay, Maliligaw okay. ba ako? Ganyan. Oo nga, kasi hindi ka pa nagtatravel oh, na, na mag-isa. Mag oh, gusto ko Spain, di ba? Sabi ko oh, nga sa'yo. Nga, yun mm -hmm. nga. Pero do you plan on doing that anytime soon? Pagka nakuha ko na yung matamis na oo ng ano, mga loved ones ko. Oh, kasi yung parents niya medyo strict. Mm -hmm. Hindi sila hindi nila pinapayagan si Ada. Ilan pa ako na nga? 30... Ano ka nag 33! Hindi kasi may backstory yan. Dahil? Nag-Japan kami tapos tinest ako ng mom ko. Pinalapit niya ako sa isang stranger na may hawak na Andrea Torres. So mama ko, binigay ko yung gamit. Girl, matitaken ka doon. Huwag ka nang pumunta mag-isa doon. Dapat nandun na lang kami kapag nandun ka kahit pa paano. Kaya dapat mag-Spain ako pag nandun ka. Yes! Yes, iplado na. Oo nga. So anyway, lang yung tanong ko. Thank you! Yan lang. Kelly ka na sa view. <laughs> so, nandito tayo sa AOS na pa-promote tayo ng Love Before Sunrise. Siyempre, kasama namin si Matet. At gusto ko lang malaman, ano ang what if mo? What if hindi ako ampun? Uy! Oh. Ang lalim! Hindi <laughs> yung what if mo. Bakit mo? What if? No, kasi 
Baka sa Germany na ako nakatira, prinsesa na ako ngayon. Alam mo yun, Mars? Oo nga eh, pero sa totoo, lagi iniisip ko rin yan. Yun na yung unang pumasok sa isip ko, ginulat mo naman ako. Pero yun nga, paano kung hindi ako ambon? Ano kayang buhay ko? Parang ganun oh, lang. Oo, oh, get, get. Sino yung tanong ko, Mars? Maraming Ay, maraming salamat. Pinti siya, Mars! Mars, tingin ako! Bigat to naman ang tags lagi. Hindi naman kung bakit. Kasi nagbigat yung tanong ah. Mukha lang siya ang chill. What if? Why? Ano mong what? Ano mong what? Because I answered it so kasi ko, what if I didn't make the same mistakes in my life? Ikaw ba, Ness? Anong what if mo? What if ako naman ang naging bida sa isang show? Wow! Ah, di ba? Ganda nun. Parang hindi ko kasi kaya yung ginagawa ninyo na iyak lang kayo ng iyak buong araw. Pag hindi naman iyak ng iyak lang. O yun din, lungkot-lungkutan. I mean, kasi napapansin ko, bakit kaya ganun ang mga bida, no? Pag nagtitaping, umpisa pa lang ng araw, umiiyak na kayo hanggang sa umuwi tayong lahat. Pero sabi nga nila, di ba, all emotions are equal. So kahit na masaya, mahirap pa rin siya gawin. Oo, pero hindi ko kaya yung umiiyak ka lang buong araw. Hindi ko talaga kaya yun. Kaya mas gusto ko yung nananabunot, nananampal, nananakit, or nagpapatawa kesa yung umiiyak. Yan naman ang hindi ko kaya yung gawin, magpatawa. Si Dom lang napapatawa ko eh. <laughs> Ikaw naman, Dennis. Okay, ano ba yan? The ultimate question, ano ang what if mo? Alam mo, curious talaga ako malaman. Ano ang what if mo? Um, siguro, ano, what if ko kung... What if hindi ako napasok dito sa showbiz na to? Kung ano yung, ano yung magiging uh, trabaho ko, ano magiging pangkabuhayan ko. Siguro, nandun pa rin siguro sa entertainment industry, pero hindi sa showbiz. Pero baka sa music industry, baka pagkabanda. Okay. Ah, yun talaga, no? Talagang meron kang ano. Kasi bago pa ako nag-artista, ano eh, music talaga yung first love. Musically inclined. Uh, talaga. Pero at least maganda doon, napapanood ka pa rin namin kumakanta. So hindi mo pa rin siya totally nabibitawan. Ay, at least nagagamit ko pa rin siya dito sa napili ko talagang trabaho na gagawin ko pang habang buhay. Sumusulat ka rin ba ng kanta? Hindi. 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 You're not a songwriter. Mas kumakanta. Uh, any um, instruments na pinaplay? Nag-drums ako at gitara. So, mm. Diba? Ang daming talents ni, ano, ni Kaya, Dennis. Kaya natin yung Rocky Oki. So. Yes! Mag-Rocky Oki kami sa last day, or sa cast party na aming. So, so there, thank you so much. Sorry no, na po doon. <laughs>